everyone, welcome back to your channel. My name is Garima and I make videos about DIYs, home decor and lifestyle improvement. And in today's video, we are going to do a very fun and budget friendly DIY. Basically, we are going to make a DIY pedestal table. I wanted a pedestal table since really long but most of the tables were costing me above uh, 3000 rupees, uh, the decent ones. And I, I did not uh, wanted to spend a lot of money because I wanted to use the table just for decoration purpose. Um, I mean I have a corner in my living room uh, wherein I display seasonal decoratives on that table uh, like um, diyas during Diwali, Christmas tree during Christmas, so things like that. So um, also I wanted to do something with the wood, uh, there are a lot of um, interesting wood related DIYs going on everywhere on, the, on all the platforms and I also wanted to try my hands. So um, sometime back I came across some scrap supplies, I, I saw a few random things and I thought let me make this table. So here I am, um, basically I saw a table on Pinterest and I have made a, a pedestal table inspired from that table which I saw on Pinterest. So this is a very fun and easy project. It will uh, hardly cost you around an hour and you will have your own table customized according to your preference. And I am planning to do a lot more wood related DIYs like uh, a pegboard and maybe some wooden shelves. So let me know if you are also interested in watching those tutorials. So let's jump into the video now. I spotted this wooden piece at a carpenter's shop, maybe it is a table slack or a candle stand, I am not sure. But he sold me uh, this for rupees 150 only and I thought this will act as a leg for the table. And for the top of the table I had this wooden platter from Banjara market long time back and this is also for rupees 50 only. So overall uh, this thing costed me 200 rupees. So now as you can see I have joined all the pieces, simply I have used fevicol and nail for attaching all the parts. If you have hand drill you can drill it as well, it's very easy. You can also take help from carpenter if you are not sure about it. So as you can see I have added a leftover piece of plywood from my home re renovation. Actually the table needed a bit more balance, it was getting tripped. So it was risky so I added this uh, scrap of plywood which was already lying with me. This will make our table a bit more stable. So the base uh, plywood which I was using was having lot of holes as in gaps. So in order to fill it I am using plaster of Paris. This is simply a plaster of Paris and water mixture and I am just filling it in the gaps using my fingers and I will try to make it smoother as much as I can. You can also use air dry clay or um, any other thing which you like. I always love using plaster of Paris. It gives me good results. So I left it for drying overnight and this is how it looks next day. The gaps are pretty much filled. The uh, base looks nice and clean and now it is time to paint. Before painting it, I'm just giving it a wipe um, using a, a wet cloth. You can also do it. I will be painting this table in two tones and for the lower section I am using this beautiful dark green color. This is from uh, Itsy Bitsy and this is a chalk paint. This green chalk paint costed me rupees 150 and if you want you can also use enamel paint if you are looking for matte finish otherwise any other color of your choice. And for the top of this table, I am using this buttermilk shade. This is also chalk paint from Itsy Bitsy. Chalk paints uh, usually do not require any primer. So this is why I am applying the paint directly on the surface. This is how the table looks after one coat of paint. Obviously, I have to give uh, it to another coat. And for the second coat on the table top, I'm just dabbing uh, the paint and applying it with a brush using a paint brush because I wanted a textured look. 
now moving on to the next part on the table top i will be painting some stripes some uh, green stripes and i will do image transfer because i saw a similar table on pinterest and i really liked it image transfer is very easy you have to simply cut out uh, the piece which you want to use dip it in water place it upside down and then um, dab some uh, water dab a foam or a piece of cotton cloth uh, so that the image is properly transferred on the table all the instructions are given usually on the sheet and this is a design which i got from crafterscorner.com they have lot of designs you can pick them pick from them easily the image transfer part has been done and as you can see i have uh, applied masking tapes for creating the green stripes and this is something which i have done earlier also in a video which i will link in the description box and i have used the same dark green color for creating the stripes on the table top and this is how it looks after drying now comes the fun part and i am going to peel off the masking tape Now for the ceiling part I am going to use a spray paint this is basically a transparent spray paint you can also use uh, white wax or transparent wax which is normally used on chalk paint i found this more budget friendly guess it looks perfect in my house i think it it goes with the overall country style vibe it was made in a small budget it was such a easy and fun project i really enjoyed making it and i hope you guys also enjoyed this very simple and easy diy easy on pocket as well this is such a versatile piece you can place your plants on this table uh, use it for sipping tea um style your vases anything you like you can style it on this table keep it in a corner and it will look great i will see you soon with another interesting video till then take care and stay safe